What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great, finally, freaking Friday. And um, we will be live streaming tonight, of course, at 9 o'clock Eastern, talking about the dysfunction that is the Dallas Cowboys, because we are all Cowboys fans serving a life sentence. That's 100% accurate. So we are trying to figure out who is going to be our defensive coordinator, which is something we need to decide, I think, sooner than later so we can figure out what kind of defense we're going to be, who's going to be the assistants, who's going to be teaching, and so on, as we are beginning to lose some of our defensive staff to Dan Quinn, who is now dead to me. He is now the enemy. So here's where... You put your money where your mouth is. Jerry Jones has said, you know, we're we're not going to worry about the cap. We're going all in. Well, the good news for us, we will know all in by the end of March. If the Cowboys haven't done anything other than restructuring some of their contracts and signing some of the guys that we have as free agents, then nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. As much as you guys don't like me and stuff, you know, we can all agree that we have holes in running back, defensive line, and linebackers that are immediate needs. If the Cowboys actually go out, and I I don't think we need a lot. I'm not saying we got to get 10 free agents that are blue chippers. If we get two or three really good players it can be all the difference in the world and one of those positions is linebacker now we're finding out that the baltimore's ravens uh former first round draft pick late in the first round linebacker patrick queen is going to be a free agent patrick queen a second team all pro um let me tell you a little bit about patrick queen because see this is the kind of move that says i'm all in So many of you all say, well, if we just trade Micah Parsons, you know, we'll get back some other stuff and we'll be able to build a defense. No, you don't take your best player. You don't get rid of your best player and say we're going to build a defense because you're now trying to chase and get those guys. Because I will say the Raiders traded, um, damn, I can't remember his name. Trade him to Chicago. Khalil Mack. They traded Khalil Mack to the Bears to try and, you know, rebuild and get better. How'd that work out for him? Not real good. A better idea is, how about I keep what I have and I just go out and I buy some guys and not have to worry about having to draft them and wait. Because Patrick Queen, who's only 24 years of age, 24, okay, is going to be a free agent. Like I said, former, I think he was the 29th pick in the draft, has been outstanding. He's six foot tall, 230 pounds. In fact, hopefully I won't get demonetized, but we're going to, We're going to put a few highlights up here. You can just watch up here. You don't have to look at me. It's probably better off you do. If you notice what happens when he comes to fill, they're not carrying him down the field, okay? They're not carrying him down the field. And this is a guy who his four years in the NFL, his rookie year, he had 106 combined tackles, three sacks, one interception. His second year, 98 tackles combined, two sacks. Third year, 117 tackles, five sacks, two interceptions. 2023, 133 tackles, three and a half sacks. See, this is what's missing on the defense. You can go ahead and try and sugarcoat it and say, you know, we got all kinds of talent. You don't have somebody like this in the middle of your field. And the way a defense is designed, trust me, I know, I've been there. I've been an integral part of the defense. The defensive line's job is to occupy space and tie up the offensive lineman. It is the linebacker who is there designed by design to make the plays. I remember about five years, six years ago, I talked about Demario Davis who sat right there and I said, go out and get that kind of guy. Oh, that guy's too expensive. Oh, 
he's a free agent. Uh, that guy, I think, hasn't had less than 110 tackles every season with three or four sacks and takes people backwards, okay? Backwards. That's the difference of being able to stop the run versus getting mollywopped. And unfortunately, you can't just say, hey, I'll get an Anthony Barr. That's just like this. No, it's not. No, it's not. So, Jerry, if you are serious, look at this. Look at that. That's Alvin Kamara he's right there with. Look at these. Boom. Upfield. You pair somebody like this with a Micah Parsons, a D-Law, and if we never get Sam Williams to stop having Randy Gregory moments, then you've got something on your defense. Now, Jerry, this is what all-in looks like is going out and getting a playmaker. You understand? This is going all-in. I don't want to hear this bullshit well, you know, because I already know what the game plan is here, is they're going to try and lowball Dak Prescott. Okay, they're going to low ball, ball Dak Prescott, and then they're going to turn around and say, well, you know, we were going to go all in and get a guy like Patrick Queen, but, you know, Dak Prescott, he wouldn't, he, he had to have the bag. He, he had to have the bag, and we could You see that? You, you see what I'm talking about here, right? You understand what I am talking about right now, right? You see this. This is what I mean about having a linebacker versus a safety who's playing linebacker. This would be a great fit for the Dallas Cowboys. And if you sign him, all of a sudden, Jerry, I'll get off your back. I will get off your back because I have been talking shit about you and AKA Catboy, your badass kid. I want to see it, man. I'm just tired of waiting, hoping and praying. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. You, you you see that? Do you see that? You see you see him track down and take down. Track down and take down. Look at that. I don't know how you can look at something like this. How you can look at a player playing like this on a defense and look and say what we have is equal. Clearly, it's more than just the scheme, guys. You got to be put in the right position to succeed, but you also have to have the players out there. And Patrick Queen, that guy can play. We will keep the coaching watch going. But let's see. Jerry, that's what all in looks like. All right, good people. I uh, have some friends that are over right now and we're trying to figure out ways of doing things better because I have literally gotten to be a fat ass again with the NFL season as I always do and figure out how to cook and eat better. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to cook some fish. Baked fish. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Peace.